Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Uh, we've got a lot of stories to get through today, but this first one is quite apposite given the date, it being the 1st of October, and that is the start of the SNP's disastrous short-term let's licensing law. Uh, and it's an example of where two policies meet head-on, uh, and where one has actually destroyed the other. Uh, as many of you will know, the uh, the Police Scotland are massively underfunded thanks to the SNP cutting budgets. And they are not investigating minor crimes or minor influences and things like that. No incident above, you know, short of, I think, you know, very serious crime is going to be looked at. Uh, and so where they would have previously been the people responsible for checking out licences, they're no longer prepared or able to do it because they just don't have the resources. Now, given that only about a third of all properties in Scotland uh, fall under the supposed short-term letting law uh, actually have applied for licences, never mind being granted them, it's going to be fairly chaotic. And even in, uh, in Edinburgh, where some 14,000 properties would require licensing, some 200 have so far been licensed. I think the people who are unlicensed are unlikely to ever hear a knock at the door and so I think they'll just ignore the law. No surprise there then. Let's have a look, see what is being said by the police and why this licensing law is so stupid. Here goes. So SNP's short term let's plan in disarray. As police warn, we can't enforce it due to cuts. Now it's not surprising, you cut the police, they are unable to deal with the minor stuff. Uh, and, and licensing, that's very minor, isn't it? There's no real crime there. Um, and so how can they possibly police this law? This is an example of the sheer stupidity of the SNP. Firstly, the law was unneeded. And secondly, cutting the police is always a big mistake. Anyway, the unpopular legislation comes into force today with accommodations without the proper paperwork potentially committing a criminal act or indeed actually committing a criminal act, but nobody will ever know. Um, the the use, police forces used to have licensing officers, but, you know, not anymore. Uh, the SNP's short-term let's licensing plan could prove completely pointless after Police Scotland said it would struggle to enforce it due to cuts. Gosh, imagine that. The SNP coming up with uh, this, this, this law that has cost a lot of money, uh, has taken a lot of time, and is completely pointless. Hey, wouldn't be the first time, would it? Uh, the licensing system, which has been criticised by the hospitality sector due to the costs involved, comes into force today, October the 1st. Uh, anyone running premises without a licence could be committing a criminal offence under the legislation, but a police representative has confirmed it would not be a high priority, reports the Times. And Police Scotland Federation, or the Scottish Police Federation, said declining officer numbers were to blame. There are about 1,600 officers um, across the whole of Scotland shy of targets. And those targets are the reduced targets from what they made during their manifesto pledge. Uh, and the more experienced older ones are leaving anyway because it's just becoming too onerous in terms of paperwork and bureaucracy and things like that. Uh, and so you're losing a lot more of the experienced officers at the top end. Uh, they're not being replaced properly at the bottom end. There's not enough sufficient training available now. Um, and of course, with all the other cuts to the budget, you're losing a lot of civilian support. And so, of course, the whole of the police force is failing. As I say, up in the uh, the north, uh, the northeast of Scotland, they've effectively said that any minor crime will not even be investigated. So, you know, the Wild West will ensue. Uh, anyway, speak... Uh, SPF General Secretary David Kennedy, Scottish Police Federation General Secretary David Kennedy said, if it is the case the police are deemed to have to deal with this, there is utterly no way that they can cope. It absolutely will not be high up in the list of priorities. And of course it won't. You've got so few policemen and so much crime, they're not going to worry about some little licensing issue. They're going to be looking out for proper criminals which is quite right too. Actually, that's not true at all, is it? They're going to be looking for people who misgender people or who stop a man going into the ladies' toilet. That's where they'll be looking. And of course, they're bringing in the new hate law, uh, which obliges by law officers to investigate hate crimes. 
Uh, and when all your police are tied up investigating hate crimes, nobody's going to be wasting time on licensing checks. Incidentally, as an aside and a tangent, the day that hate law comes in, you remember you have to phone up your police, your local police force uh, or your local police station um, eight, ten times a day and report every single case of hate you come along. You know, it forces them. They, they must by law investigate it and it will tie them all up. Uh, and the sooner that comes in, the sooner that law will be dropped because it is unworkable like so much um anyway the, the uh, scottish police federation continued to say uh, there are not enough police officers to answer the calls at the moment never mind to answer more on this issue we used to have licensed police officers who were specifically trained with dealing with licensing but that specialism has disappeared of course it has because they just haven't got the cash uh, it comes after police scotland launched a pilot scheme in the northeast of scotland where it no longer actively investigates minor crimes. Now, some of these minor crimes aren't as minor as you think. Some of these minor crimes uh, involve sexual abuse, but it's deemed to be minor. Um, well done. Welcome to the wonderful world of SMP policing. Um, councils have already said they would not look to proactively investigate with accommodations, uh, which accommodations have the proper paperwork, but would only act on complaints from residents. Uh, Farouk Hussain, Assistant Chief Constable at Police Scotland, said the short term let's licensing scheme creates significant additional demand for Police Scotland. We're working with local authority partners to explore options around how we meet this requirement at a time when hard choices must be made to maintain effective policing within the funding available. Well, with the funding available, you just cannot, cannot have effective policing. There's not the resources there. You've got ineffective policing. But, you know, unless you pump millions more in, hire thousands of officers uh, and civilian staff, uh, you know, you're not going to have sufficient policing. Uh, it emerged earlier this month that the Lord Advocate had been urged to investigate whether the scheme will be a, will breach human rights law. Uh, yeah, because of the, uh, the publication of the names and addresses of the properties and things and who owns them. There's all sorts of GDPR stuff involved. There's... Uh, laws against privacy there's all sorts of laws being broken so they're looking at maybe putting an appeal in against human rights laws for this particular licensing scheme which will uh, embarrass uh, shall we say the SNP. Uh, a letter sent to the first minister Hamza Youssef last week from the association of scottish self caters the ASSC warned the regulations may be in breach of privacy and protection legislation as I mentioned. Dorothy Bain was urged to, but to intervene by MSPs from all political parties in Holyrood, except the Scottish Greens, of course. Uh, and that including SNP rebel Fergus Ewing, Labour's Daniel Johnson, Liberal Democrat William Reddy, and the Conservative MSPs Miles Briggs and Murdo Fraser. A Scottish Government spokesman said, the Scottish Government has worked closely with Police Scotland throughout implementation and enforcement, will always be a last resort. It will be a never resort. They can't enforce this. It's pointless. Uh, he said, it is in the interest of all short-term let operators to apply ahead of the deadline. No, it's not. It's in the interest of them all not to apply. They can't deal with it. They just cannot deal with it. If if everyone just said no, what can they possibly do? But it's an example. The, the SNP are actually against, and him in particular, is actually out to destroy Scotland's tourism industry. Along with everything else, they want absolute poverty and misery so that they can rebuild in their own image of a fascist state controlled by a one-party dictatorship and that guy is trying to lead it of course he's quite ineffective he's too stupid but it's um you know it's it's, it's effectively who comes after him that matters hopefully no one hopefully this is the end for the snp but we shall wait and see anyway i'm gonna round off and come up so there you go. Another failed policy, dead in the water before it starts. The uh, the short-term let operators in Scotland can just basically not bother, save themselves the money, just go about their business and carry on as usual. It can't be policed. The local authorities say they're not going to police it, and the police say they're not going to police it. Nobody's going to police it. So just carry on. Ignore it. Like so much of what the SNP do, it's pointless. It's a waste of time, effort and money. It's another failed policy from another failed MP in a very, very much failing party. Oh well, never mind. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're very close to our target. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and just carry on regardless and ignore everything the SNP say and do. Bye.